everyone. I'm gonna have a backyard barbecue tonight. So to get ready, I'm gonna make three awesome mocktails. Let's get started. The first mocktail we're gonna make for our backyard barbecue is gonna be a peach Arnold Palmer. I'm gonna be starting with peach simple syrup. I'll be using one ounce of this. This is really thick and concentrated, so we just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with this. That's really nice. Now my best friend, she loves peaches, especially in the summertime, and she also loves iced tea. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of Collins Mixer, which is a great way to celebrate lemons this season. The lemons here come from California, and this is an awesome mix. It's really super balanced. I will be using four ounces in here. So we have our Collins mix and our peach simple syrup in here. I'm just gonna shake these two together. And I'm gonna pour this mixture straight over ice. Only fill the glass up about halfway. Mm, these are so refreshing. She is gonna love this. I'm gonna top this off with some sun tea. I love making sun tea, but you can use any tea you like. Look how cute this is. Now since she is my best friend, I'm gonna make it super special for her. And I got these really cute little lemon skewers I'm gonna pop right in here. And of course, a lemon wedge. So there you have it, a peach Arnold Palmer. The second mocktail we're gonna make for this backyard barbecue is gonna be an amaretto sour. Now, amaretto has liquor in it, but if you remove the liquor, it's just almond extract. So that's what we're gonna use for the amaretto part of the mocktail. So we're not gonna use any ice in this drink whatsoever. So there's no ice in here, but we're gonna take our amaretto extract, and this is an ounce. And we're going to take our sweet and sour mix. Now in an amaretto sour tradition, you would use a sweet and sour mix, so this is perfect. And there's no liquor in these, which makes it a great substitution. I'll be using three ounces. And finally, an egg white. Make sure it's a pasteurized egg white. The reason you wanna use a pasteurized egg white is because it's free of salmonella. I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. And then you keep shaking. You wanna keep shaking until it feels a lot lighter. So what we're doing is we're aerating the egg and it's emulsifying with the sweet and sour mix as well as the almond extract. There's a lot of pressure underneath here. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. You guys are gonna love this. And as it sits, it's gonna separate. But look how creamy and frothy that is. I'm gonna top it off with a little garnish of a lemon twist, just like so. And there you have it, an amaretto sour mocktail. Our third and final mocktail for this backyard barbecue is gonna be a Frosé Sangria Punch. A mouthful, but it's gonna be awesome. The wine element we'll be using in this is going to be our Frosé, which doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it has a nice acidic flavor to it and it is full of fruity flavors. We're using about three ounces in this. And because it is a sangria, we're gonna add a bunch of fruit. So I have some really cool lemon slices here. I'm gonna throw those in. I have some peaches, throw those in. And of course I have some lime, throw that right in there. Perfect, and then I'm just gonna shake this up. I'm gonna take my really pretty daiquiri cup and I'm gonna pour everything into it. The ice, the fruit, the frosé. Look how frothy that is, it's so good. However, I want it to be really frothy because it's really hot outside. 
So I'm gonna add rainbow sorbet. So it is melting a little bit because it's really hot outside. However, I'm just gonna take a nice, pretty scoop and scoop it right on top. This is raspberry, lime, and orange. It's gonna go so great with this mocktail. Finished with a straw and of course some beautiful mint. Awesome, so there you have it. Three great mocktails that you can sip on while the burgers are being flipped and your friends are arriving. They are so good and so cute. You're not even gonna miss the alcohol. Let me know what you think about these. Leave it in the comments below.